Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to another video on InRange TV. We did a, a video a little while back testing commercial high velocity and heavy bullet ammo in the M1. And we were using a Schuster adjustable gas plug. Right, which we have some, well, Carl has some experience with. Like it, it works really well. We were What we ended up showing was that you can actually bring both M2 ball and commercial ammo below the op rod velocity of standard of a standard M1 shooting military ammo. So which, we'll link, we'll go ahead. Which is fantastic. So yeah, we have a link below in the description where you can see that video itself. Now, in the, re the response to that video was a whole bunch of people asking us about the gas plug made by GarandGear.com. Who I'd never heard of until the, the, the comments. Yeah, same here. I, I guess I'm so old school in M1 Garand <laughs> world that I only was aware of the adjustable Schuster type gas plugs. Well, it appears that what Garand gear has that people like is it's not adjustable, it's just plug it in and you're done. So how that works is what it is, is the, the Schuster or Schuster type, the gas plug is there, it's got a hole drilled through it, and you can put in inserts of different diameter holes, yep. apertures, that allows you to adjust the gas system based on the ammunition using by putting in different screws. Right, you're venting a little bit of the gas out the front. You're venting it out the front. What you're doing with this, the M1 Garand gear Garand plug, gear plug. Garand gear plug, is they've taken a plug, a regular plug, well, it's not a regular plug, they machined this, yeah. but they made a new plug, I should say, that instead of being a solid piece, has been hollowed out, bored out, and it's got more empty capacity in the middle of it. It's got more internal volume. So instead of being a solid piece, when you install this into your M1 gas system, you've increased the volume capacity, the gas capacity of your gas cylinder and plug by a, a substantial amount. What's happening is when gas first comes into the, the gas system, part of it vents forward into this hollow section of the gas plug, which reduces the pressure of the gas pushing back on the op rod. And because the gas port on the M1 is so incredibly close to the muzzle, the gas port is here and the muzzle is here. Um, by the time that, that little hollow bit fills up, the bullets left the barrel and net result, you're reducing the pressure and in the gas system and thus you're reducing the rearward velocity of the operating rod. So instead of venting the gas to decrease the gas in the system, what you've done is increase the volume of the cylinder itself, giving it more time to expand, thus reducing, theoretically reducing, how much force you're impacting on the operating system. PT equals N, or PV equals NRT. Math stuff! Yeah. Anyways, the point <laughs> is the volume being larger means you get la right. you have less pressure operating on the system. Now, I think the reason people like this is you don't have to do anything maintenance-wise to it. You just screw it in and you're done. The, the Schuster system with adjustable plugs and figuring out what works, that sounds intimidating, I think, to some people, despite the fact that it is not in any way intimidating. It's not. So with an it's adjustable gas system, we talk about it in the video, you put the gas plug in that's adjustable, you put in the largest aperture that it comes with, you yep. fire it the, with the ammo you want to use. Does it cycle properly and lock back? If not, go to the next smaller aperture. You keep doing that until the gun reliably cycles and locks back every time and then will function in a semi-automatic mode. Basically Ta a clip of ammo and you're done. Within eight rounds you know what yeah. you need to do. This one you don't need to do that. You just screw it in, you've increased the volume of your gas cylinder by doing that and then you shoot merrily down the road with all your high velocity ammo safely, right? Yep. Uh, well, in theory, that's the question. I was lining you up for a statement. <laughs> so, so, we did the math. We went out here today and shot this on high speed with the Garen Gear gas plug and the exact same ammo that we used in our previous video. Literally exactly. the same box. So, so it was a little hotter today, so we did a new control with M2 ball. Right. Because the temperature, ambient temperature you're shooting in actually will have play havoc on your velocities. Yep. We did see a little bit of a velocity increase with standard M2 ball. Right. Which isn't expected. So we did a control with that, and then we did the high velocity 150 grain, and we did the 220 grain heavy bullets with the Garen Gear plug. Yep. What happened? So the result is, when we switched from the standard plug to the Garand gear plug, our op rod velocity for standard M2 ball went down by about 5%. You noticed the recoil was a little bit lighter. I can tell you that. So this is interesting. The first note I thought when I fired it with M2 ball with the Garand gear gas plug is it recoiled softer, and I thought, oh, well, this is a gaming device. Now, I don't mean that in a negative, but if you were shooting an M1 and you were shooting it in I, maybe it could be a practical thing, but kind of like you put a muzzle brake on an AR, it allows you to just get back on target faster. Little there was faster. this little less impulse that made me think, I could shoot this gun a little faster with this gas plug installed. So we went from approximately 230 inches per second down to 220 inches per second by putting in the Garand gear plug. Now, when we use the high velocity and the heavy bullet ammunition, interestingly, uh, they both came out at exactly the same op rod velocity, and that was 256 inches per second. So we're going from our, our standard, um, what, what we would expect the rifle to operate at, which is the original plug and M2 ball was 232. 
when we put in the Garand gear plug and we use the, the worst commercial ammo we can find, we're up to 256. So we're increasing by 10 to 15 percent. Now, with the Schuster adjustable plug, we were able to bring all the commercial ammo below M2 ball spec. So, in a nutshell, the Garand gear plug gives you a one size fits all that reduces you, you're, you're, you're not beating the gun up as badly, and with ammo that's only slightly off of M2 ball spec, you'd be just fine. But with particularly heavy commercial ammo, either high velocity or heavy bullet, you are in fact still running the op rod faster than it was designed to do. So with the M1 Garin gear gas plug, I should guess just call it Garin gear, if you were just running standard 30-06, 150 grain, not high velocity, not right. 220, you are giving your gun a little extra safety room, yep. wiggle room, that's not with M2 ball. So let's say you get 150 grain instead of being M2 ball, it's about 200, 350, 200 feet per second faster because it's commercial ball. Mm -hmm. You're prob I'm not gonna say you're okay, but right. the M1, the Garin gear plug makes that wiggle room a little bigger because of the volume change. Right. It does not make it a-okay to shoot any 30 odd six you can find through it. When we used the adjustable Schuster system, we were able to bring both of those down, not only to safe levels, but safer than M2 ball. Right, well below M2 ball. So I would say this, if you're going to shoot regular 150 grain, not high velocity commercial ammo and never do anything other than that, never put high velocity, never put 220 grain in there, this, this Garand gear plug has something going for it. But if you were to ask me, I wouldn't bother. I'd get an adjustable and I'd tune the gun to the ammo I wanted to use, make it actually so it's running lighter than it would with M2 ball right out of the box, and I would be able to shoot pretty much anything I wanted to. That's exactly what I would do. They're pretty, I don't remember the exact cost of both, but they're pretty darn similar. I think this was about 50 bucks shipped. So in theory, about what the Schuster costs, and I'd rather have the Schuster that is more effective and more customizable than this, which is a one size kind of almost fits most. So if you're afraid of changing a screw out with a hole in it to tune your gun to your ammo, get the M1 Garand gear plug. Yeah, if you can operate a set screw, you can run a Schuster. If you can operate a screwdriver, throw away your Garand, do something else. <laughs> but if you can't, then this would be your option. But this idea of you put this in there and it's a panacea is false. It gives you wiggle room with some ammo that may be a little bit out of spec of M2 ball. It does not give you the diversity that we're looking for in an adjustable gas plug. Yep. The other thing that I found was you take your handy dandy M1 Garand takedown tool and you stick it in the gas plug. It fits perfectly. Right. Like it was made for that. Weird. Kind of amazing. Military got that one right. And you unscrew the gas plug and you go to put your gearing gear plug in and you stick it in there and turn it, turn it down by hand. Then you take your screwdriver and you go, and it doesn't fit. Yeah, it doesn't really quite fit. I don't know why you wouldn't machine that to fit the tool made for the rifle. You could use a screwdriver. I'm not saying right. you can't do it. But when you use the tool made for the rifle and it doesn't fit me, that makes me want to go boop and be gone with it. But... That's just me. Yeah, you have a pretty low patience. Yeah, level. literally, yeah. if I bought this, I'd be like, "Tunk," when I'd be done. But that's 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 really pedantic. It's annoying, but irrelevant. Yeah. Anyways, so video. If you enjoy this sort of thing, please consider checking out our Patreon account and uh, helping to support us. That's where we get the money to go buy random, uh, non-standard Garand gas plugs and high velocity, which I will never use. Oof, buck a shot ammo. We'll never use this. In fact, I think we will, uh, we'll see if we can probably give that away. Hopefully there's someone out there with a Garen that wants to deal yeah. with it and they can have it. Yep. yep. Cool. Um, at any rate, if you can't afford to support us financially through Patreon, we totally understand. Uh, just please uh, check out the videos on both YouTube and Full30.com. Share them with your friends and subscribe. Thanks for watching.